What's up humans? My name is Alex and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at what are some of the best WordPress hosts entering 2019. We'll be looking at a variety of things such as speed, performance, how easy it is to use and price. And ultimately, or at least I hope by the end of this video, you'll get a little bit of a better idea on uh, where to get started with your new WordPress website. So that's it, let's go. So, um, before getting into like the nitty gritty, we'll be comparing four hosts. Those being SiteGround, Cloudways, GoDaddy, and Bluehost. We'll be uploading the exact same site, which is a pretty standard business website, onto each of those servers. We'll be hooking them all up to a content delivery network, CDN. Cloudways in this case, it's just to speed it up a little bit. Uh, and we'll be running the same test across all sites. We'll be giving it a couple of days and monitoring and rerunning the same test then and ultimately come up with a bit of a score to which one was the best performing. In this case, the lower the score, the better the host. All right. Um, I think that sort of goes around it. Let's jump into the computer. All right. First up, we've got SiteGround. Now, SiteGround was okay. I've heard a lot of good things about it in the web space, especially around their support. And I've got to say, support was spot on. They were great. I did have to reach out to them, which is kind of a con. Um, but after reaching out to them, things went really, really smoothly. Um, this is their site here. They have a bunch of services and specializes in WordPress in particular. If we jump in over to our dashboard here, this is pretty much what it looks like. It's a little bit outdated, but pretty straightforward. So you start up your account and you're good to go. With the site, so this is a site here running on SiteGround, um, things are okay at best, I would say. So speeds average around five seconds. The way I tested out those speeds was we plug it into Pingdom here. Uh, we run the same test three times and then we do an average of those three. And SiteGround always had an average of five, around that, that five second mark, which is, which is too much. It's, it, it, it won't work. Um, you can see it here, you've got your results, the performance grade, uh, and the load time for your website. Moving on, next up we have Bluehost. Now, Bluehost was probably one of the easiest to get set up. Um, very straightforward, very intuitive. It was, it was awesome. The dashboards and the setup, that was great. So you can see here, this is their base website. Once you're logged in, you get presented with something that looks like this. So it's essentially the name of your site and your site URL. Uh, and a direct access to your dashboard from here, as well as other sites and other things that they offer. Uh, this part was by far the best part of Bluehost. Getting the site up and running though, not so good. Uh, so once we imported the site and it went live, we got a bunch of PHP errors, which you can see here. Um, and the idea, the whole idea of this test is the easiest, fastest host just to get started, right? So it kind of disqualifies it from the get-go, I guess. Uh, nonetheless, we still did the tests. Um, so moving on to here, Pingdom, same as for SiteGround, we ran the test three times and then averaged the score of those tests. Uh, on average, it got us a loading time of about 5.88 seconds, which is, Again, a little bit too much, um, and you can see here from our latest test, which was a 7.3 uh, load speed. So, yeah, um, I wouldn't recommend Bluehost. All right, uh, next up we have GoDaddy. So, GoDaddy, I went in with pretty low expectations. Um, I've heard some not so good things about them, just in general in the web space, but I think they've really stepped up their game over the last couple of months. Um, setting up the account, logging into the account, their dashboards, importing the site, all of that was really straightforward. So I had no problems from the beginning to the end. The speed was also pretty good. Um, so as a quick overview, this is sort of what your dashboard looks like. You can log into your site from here. The site itself runs flawlessly. There's no problems there. And then plugging it into a speed test, we had an average of about 3.5 seconds. Uh, which is really good, actually, in comparison to the other hosts, it's pretty amazing. And you can see our, our latest speed test here came through at 2.8 seconds, which is about half of what the others were doing. Uh, so GoDaddy gets a thumbs up from me. 
Now, last but, but not least, uh, we have Cloudways. Now, Cloudways was also an easy setup. This is their site here. They do well, what every other WordPress host does. They, they host your website. Um, they have a bunch of different server options. I thought it was really cool. Set up super intuitive. They also have a tool that, their own tool that imports your site, um, which made it pretty easy, straightforward. Uh, the site itself lives here. So you can see again, the same site running without problem. The dashboards look really good. Uh, easy to use, very intuitive. You can see an example of it here. I've got the site set up. And finally, the speed. So the speed of Cloudways, I reckon, was by far the best. Uh, we got back an average of 2.3 seconds with the last test here. You can see going through at 2.54. Yeah, Cloudways, thumbs up, and moving forwards will definitely be my go-to host. Without that. And humans, that is pretty much it. That's a wrap. So uh, all the hosting companies will be linked down below in the description, as well as a discount, which I managed to get for Cloudways. Uh, so for the fastest one, be sure to check it out. Let me know what you think. Feel free to comment, don't be too hard. It's my first video. And uh, maybe on some things I could improve, right? Baby steps. Um, and yeah, if there's anything else, feel free to reach out. And until next time, enjoy the day.